Sunday, April 22nd, 8 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at a few of the wonderful sky phenomenon photographs and video that you guys have shared with me in the last day. Here's one example real quick. We're going to get to some more here in just a second. I also want to show you something I found interesting um, from one of the webcams on board the International Space Station. I'm over here at spaceweather.com and I want to talk about the Lyrid meteor shower real quick that occurred this weekend and then also this geomagnetic storm that occurred on the 19th. The reason I bring them up is because of this. I observed this on the 19th from on board the International Space Station while it was on the dark side of the Earth. What you're looking at is a webcam outside on board the uh, ISS. Normally when it's in the dark side of the planet you don't see too much. You don't see too much of anything with regard to light. All of these specks of red, white, and blue are very rare. So when I saw that I just started recording and you know, every once in a while it intensify and you'll see a streak of light go through it's almost like it's in some, there was a streak right there. It's almost um, as if it were going through, through some sort of a debris field. There was another streak right there around the 8 o'clock position. So super interesting considering this ride through the shadow is normally pretty boring. So to see something like that is very rare. So I got to looking around. I've had that since the 19th. I knew the meteor shower wasn't until this weekend, so I'm like, well, it's kind of early to be going through the, the stream of debris from the comet tail, and that's from Comet Thatcher. That's what produces the annual Lyrid meteor shower. So we were technically a little early for that, but we were right in the middle of an interplanetary shockwave. So I'm like, okay, is that some sort of static energy from the shockwave? I suppose it could have been. So that's what I was thinking when I was recording this. I was tossing around the, the comet debris, but I'm like, well, it's a little early. So I'm kind of leaning towards static from the interplanetary shockwave is what we're seeing here. There's quite a bit. Because like I said, normally... When this thing's on the dark side of the Earth, it's exactly that. It's dark. You don't normally see too much. But we did have an incredible light show with regard to auroras over uh, Thursday night into Friday night. In fact, auroras were seen down in the southern hemisphere. That's where this picture is from. And we were sent in pictures from Tasmania. That's south of Australia. Red and green auroras down there. That was on Friday evening around 8 p.m. Uh, local time in Tasmania. And this is where this photograph is from, Tasmania. So what was observed around the space station on the night of the 19th, it was either early debris from Comet Thatcher and the annual Lyrid meteor shower, or it was some sort of static that was associated with this interplanetary shockwave, one of the two. But I found that super interesting almost as interesting as this eye in the sky that our friend Jasper from Holland noticed today. Quite the photogenic cloud. Look at that. Perfect eye in the sky. This is the original. Um, this is untouched. The other one, he was just messing around with the contrast and stuff, trying to make it more clear, but uh, more visible, but there was no need to. That is a really unique cloud. He also shared with us a video of what looks like, now this is looking west at the sunset from Holland. This is yesterday evening. Now he's going to take us and show us what the eastern sky looks like at the same exact time. And again, this is from Holland. And it looks like dual sunsets. Interesting. So this video is from Holland, our friend Jasper. Very observant. Got his eyes to the skies, literally. 
Look at that. Talk about an eye in the sky. That's real, too. <laughs> I mean, it's a real picture. It hasn't been photoshopped. So good observation, Jasper. Really appreciate the photographs. Those photos can be found at the Sky Phenomenon Photo Gallery with lots of other ones also. Here's a close-up look at some of that dust. Look at that. Honestly, I've never seen anything like that around the space station. I haven't watched every, you know, minute of footage from the space station, but it's pretty rare. This is a look from Nova Scotia looking west at the moon last night. This is a photo from Nova Scotia looking to the northeast at what looks like white auroras and light pillars. These were sent in by Maria last night, and she was out looking for maybe a Lyrid or two from the annual Lyrid meteor shower. But instead, she said she was surprised by the light pillars and the white cloud. She sent this photograph into a sky photography group, and they told her that what she photographed was white auroras and light pillars. But she said the, the air, generally, with light pillars, which those are common, when it's really, really cold. She said it wasn't cold. She said it was kind of warm, actually. So for the white cloud and the light pillar, she said both were very surprising when she was actually looking for lyrids from the meteor shower. And you got to keep in mind, it's definitely not the moon. Even though it looks like moonlight, the moon is behind her to the west. That's looking northeast. But at what? That's still lingering energy from the geomagnetic storm? didn't uh, show up on the website we look at the K index the storm is long gone so I don't know exactly what it was she was seeing out there and even the ionosphere showed back to normal so kind of interesting it definitely wasn't the moon and those were sent in by Maria from Nova Scotia Filmed some sort of a white cloud in the northern sky, northeastern sky, last night. So thank you, Maria, for sharing. I greatly appreciate that. This next video I want to share with you is from Truckee, California. Robert sent this in of yet another big halo. We've been seeing these all around the world this spring. But I want you to notice something at the 3 o'clock position right here. Something appears to be stationary in this halo. It doesn't move, and it doesn't look like a typical cloud. See how it's still there? And then he'll move the camera around all different directions. It's still there. See if I can stop it on it real quick and I'll show you. He films this for over a minute and it, or right at a minute. And that thing right there never changes shape or location or color for that matter. Almost looks like a triangle with some sort of a rectangle in front of a long rectangle, a bar. Right there. So what I did, I took a couple of still shots of it. I don't have a clue what this is, guys. It's just sky phenomenon, something interesting. But you can see what looks like a bar running this way horizontally. And this almost, it's difficult to tell, but it's almost similar to a triangle. There's a little better look at it there. But seriously, it looks like there's something stationary next to the sun. And it doesn't have anything to do with this man's camera. It is not a camera artifact, or it would be moving around. In fact, you can see the artifact right there. That's a light reflection moving around. It's totally obvious. That is not. That's something in the sky. Now, it could be a, a cloud that's just dark and shaped kind of unusual. It, yeah, it could be, but there's another good look at it right there. But I don't know. don't think so. But anyway, that's from Truckee. California, which is up near Reno, California, today, April 22nd, 2018. All right, guys, that's all I got for now. The next video will be wildlife, more wildlife behavior. 
unusual behavior observations that have been sent in uh, over the weekend and today. And I'm telling you, there are a lot. So that's what the next video will be about. That's all of the sky phenomenon. That's not all of the sky phenomenon, but um, that's all that I've got for this video. There is more to come. The website has been updated. If you haven't checked out the website, by all means do. It's a good little hub for information. MrMBB333.com. You can find the link below in the description box. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a super day and be safe out there. Mm -hmm.